So here's a problem we keep seeing with people who are using the date picker. Um, here's a form where somebody has a new page on the form. And when they go to the date picker and they click, you can see there's white space kind of popping through or showing through the date picker object. And the reason this is happening is because the date picker itself is not sitting on top of all the other layers. So what we need to do is if you go over your tools and you go to um, prepare form, if you're in a different version of Adobe Acrobat, this may be slightly different for you. And we're on page four here. So I'll just click here to get to page four. Um, so here's page four. Now the fields that make up uh, this object, they all start with fr underscore. So if we scroll down here a little bit, we should start to see some fields that start with fr underscore. Now here's the thing that's interesting. Do you see how this field is above some of the other fields on the form? Um, we really want all of these fr underscore fields to be below your personal fields that you've put on the form. So what I'm going to do is just grab and drag this down. And um, drag it down further. What I want to do is drag it down all the way to the bottom where I start to see the other fields that start with fr underscore. And you can see down here are all the fr underscore fields. And really what you want ideally is to have all the fr underscore fields which make up the calendar at the bottom of your page. And you can see they're all here at the bottom of the page. Now when I close and go back, you can see that the full calendar, there's no nothing shining through from the background. Um, oops, so we have some validations on there. But now when you click on the calendar, the whole calendar pops up on the screen. And once you've done this, uh, you can basically save your form and you're all set.